after a wonderful and unplanned zero in Great Barrington. We're back on trail, and as you can tell, it's getting warm. Mr. Porky. I'm scared. Shadows over me. So come on and take me by the hand, lead me through the troubled waters of the sea. So maybe yeah, you got a hello over your head all the time. All right, so we got to Upper Goose Pond where they have canoe and some bunks for us, and it's really cool. Um, rumor is that they make pancakes and coffee in the morning. So, it was definitely a must-see on our tour of the AT. So we're just relaxing. We got here at like noon. We're just relaxing for the day, enjoying the sun and the company. I'm a roll if I fall. Oh, I did not know that there were moose in Massachusetts. We just saw a moose in Massachusetts <laughs> and it scared the crap out of us and ran away and now we're afraid to move because we've heard that moose are more dangerous than bear and the moose is on the trail and the moose is on the loose <laughs> I didn't know moose were here but it was huge and scary and it's it ran in the direction that we're now headed so uh SOS <laughs> Okay, so we just got into Dalton. It's supposed to rain, so we decided screw tenting. And uh, we're gonna get a hotel room and stay dry for the night. Not really much else to talk about today, aside from the fact that we saw a moose. It's relatively uneventful. We'll chalk it up to a win, though. It's still a win. So we went into Dalton and stayed at a hotel last night to beat the rain that really didn't happen, but we're not mad about it because we got a shower and laundry. But then this morning, we got a quick little joke. What do the rocks in Massachusetts and through hikers have in common? We're all really, really sweaty. <laughs> anyway, that was my joke of the day. Also, we saw our first pair of southbounders today. So it's pretty cool that we're gonna start running into more southbounders. They seemed pretty nice, almost trustworthy. So I don't know. Does the Nobo Sobo dynamic still live strong? Or have we overgrown that? Or are we all just happy to be out here? We will see. I wanna say I won the game So Bruiser and Savage um, got a replacement tent from REI um, because their other tent had torn and that was the tent that they were given. It's insane, there's like seven or eight holes. So luckily we have a trail angel bringing them a new tent tomorrow and all is fine, but REI, what are you doing? How did that tent get put back out to be given as a replacement tent? It's pretty crazy. 
pretty crazy. Somebody definitely dropped the ball. Good morning. So we're finishing our climb up Mount Grey Lock today and we'll be crossing into Vermont and passing 1600 miles. So it's a day filled with fun activities. I keep kicking it life, yeah. Well, can I get a witness to defend my case? No, I won't get caught up in the corporate race. Well, I like got this commitment, and behind it, I'll stand tall. If that shadows get me down, I'm a roll if I fall. So step back. Blah, 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 welcome to the long trail. Mud, 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 black flies, white blazes, blah, blah, blah. Bacon, how many more miles do we have left? Well, 598. 592. 592. Vermont didn't waste any time getting muddy. All they can teach you. All right, so we made it to Bennington, Vermont, where we're just resupplying, and we got a two-bedroom, four-bed suite um, at the Naughty Pine Hotel. We're gonna have a family dinner tonight and just hang out and relax. We're having a family dinner. What are we having for dinner tonight, guys? We're having pulled pork tacos with a corn succotash. Cabbage slaw, pineapple, jalapeno, cilantro, salsa, and guacamole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a familiar disposition, like I see it in your eyes. It's a beauty of a new sunrise. 